we previously configured router 1 with TACAX, and now let's configure router 2 with RADIUS. So on router 2, hostname router 2, interface gigabit 00, zero. no shut IP address DHCP, RADIUS server will accept connections from any device. So to configure RADIUS, triple A new model, username, and I'll simply use David here, password is Cisco. Enable password Cisco. So I've told the router to use AAA and I've created a backup username in case the AAA server is not available. This username will only be used if the Radius server is down. So let's configure Radius server. So Radius server. The Radius server I'll use here is Radius 1. In the real world, you obviously want to use a better name than that, but that works for this lab. Address is IP version 4192.168.122, and the server IP address is 201. On the radius server, that's the IP address of the server. Now, this is very important. You need to specify an authentication port of 1812 and an accounting port of 1813. Don't use the defaults in Cisco IOS. The key that we're going to use for communication with the radius server is GNS3. So show run will show us what we've done thus far. I've set up an enable password of Cisco. I've enabled AAA new model. I've got a backup username configured, and here's our Radius server configuration. Next step is to create a AAA group. So AAA group server will be Radius. I'll call this GNS3 group two, basically just to specify some kind of name. Server name, this is the server that we previously configured, which is Radius one. The last step is to enable AAA authentication. So AAA authentication, login, default. This is gonna to apply to all lines. Group that I'm gonna use is GNS3 group two. Backup is gonna be local authentication. So there we go. Let's review our configuration. Enable password, enabled AAA. This is our AAA radius group pointing to the radius server, which we configured down here. We've enabled AAA authentication for login. What I'll do is enable AAA authentication for enable. The default that I'm gonna use is simply the enable password. So again, show run. Enable password, AAA new model, this is our AAA server group. We've only got one server in the group at the moment. For logins, we're going to use this GNS3 group, which is our radius group. Backup is gonna be a local authentication. So let's see if it works. Show IP interface brief. Can I telnet to the router? At the moment, not. That's because I have to enable Telnet on this router. So again, show IP interface brief. Can I Telnet to the router? Usernames that are configured on the server are Alice and Bob. So let's log in as Alice. Password is GNS3. Let's see if that works. Seems to be taking a long time. Can I ping the AAA server? Yes, I can. Go back to the Telnet session. It says authentication failed. Now, I have had some issues with Radius. You may have to shut down GNS3 and start it up again and double check your configuration. So I'll do some troubleshooting here. I'll firstly save the router configurations and then I'll have a look at the configuration. 
we've got our triple A group configured. We're using triple A authentication for login. We are pointing to the radius server. Key used is GNS3. We can ping the server. So let's debug radius and let's debug AAA authentication to see if we can find a problem. And what I'll do is telnet back to the router. Username, let's use Bob. Password is GNS3. We're getting a timeout here. So let's go to the AAA server, CD root, ls, CD etsy, ls, CD free radius, ls, CD three zero, ls, more users. We can see that Alice and Bob are configured as users with a password of GNS3. So that looks good. What I'll do is use the command service, free radius restart to restart the service. And notice there's a problem. The service is not starting up. So if your service is failing, means you've got a problem. That's not gonna work. So you may have to turn off your radius server and start it up again or troubleshoot the Radius server software. I suggest that for most labs you use the TACAC server if you have problems with Radius. Server started up again, so let's telnet to ourselves and log in and see if that works better. Still having a problem with the Radius server. As you can see, it's failing here. So what I'm gonna do is shut down GNS3 and start it up again. Okay, so GNS3 has booted up. I'll open up consoles to the devices. Here's the AAA server. Service, free radius, start. Okay, that looks better. The radius server has started up. IP address of the radius server is once again this. Here's router two, login as Bob, password is GNS3. Authentication is failing there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete this link so that I can log in as my backup user. So I'm gonna log in as David Cisco. That's why it's always important to have a backup local username. If you're having problems logging in, you want to be able to log in using your backup username and password. And there you go, I can log in. Can I ping the radius server? At the moment I can't because the radius server connection is dead. So I'll connect the router back to the radius server. So the router can now ping the radius server Let's telnet to ourselves and see if we can log in. So 192.168.122.119. Try username Alice, password is GNS3. Notice I can now log in. So that worked well. I can go to enable mode. Telnet to myself again. Log in as Bob, password is GNS3. Enable, password is Cisco. I can log in, show line shows me that a connection is made to the VTY line, exit out, show line, I'm now connected via the console. So a reboot solved the problem. If you have an issue, add a different AAA Docker container to your topology and see if that works better. There's nothing stopping you adding multiple AAA servers to your GNS3 topologies and using different servers for authentication. As an example, you may wanna use one AAA server for TACX authentication 
and one AAA server for radius authentication. But I'm happy with that. Here's my configuration once again. Enable password. AAA authentication. This is our radius server group. We're using radius for authentication of logins and local as a backup. It's important to have this in case you have problems as I demonstrated. Enable password is used for enable authentication. Here's my backup username and password. And here are the details of the radius server. So again, to make the point on router one, I should be able to telnet to router two. Router two has this IP address. So 119, login as Alice, password is GNS3, and notice I can log into the router. So that's router one, telnetting to router two. Router two, can it telnet to router one? Login as GNS3 here because it's using radius, and notice I can log in. You can edit the configuration of the radius server by going to Etsy free radius 3.0 and changing the configuration of the files here. So as an example, nano users allows me to see the configuration of the user accounts. This is a slight mistake in the message as an example. What should have been used is this in the reply message. So as an example, I could change that. For Alice, save that configuration. And then on router one, telnet to router two, login as Alice, still showing the old message here. So what I'll do is use service free radius, restart, restart the service that's successfully worked. Tell it back to the router's Alice and notice Alice can now log in successfully with the correct message displayed. You can change the configuration of both free radius and TACAX on this server. But if all you want to do is get a simple Radius and TACAC server added to your GNS3 topologies, you can do that through this Docker container. I want to thank Andrash again for his hard work setting up these Docker containers. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I want to wish you all the very best.